So for my conclusion for these video diaries, um, I'm just gonna talk about my progression as an analyst, what I feel I've um, I've improved on, what I feel I can do better, uh, what I'm, what I look to do in the future, immediate and long term. Uh, to start off with me personally, my progression. Um, I felt I feel as though where I am now is much better than when obviously when I started just because I have a much better idea of what being an analyst entails um, just I now I understand how how things work uh, why we record everything why we code everything obviously as I've mentioned in the other videos just to it's just about it's for the coaches to improve the team and you do notice a difference in in the team be it practice or matches but unfortunately there haven't been many matches that I could record that but um due to just bad weather um but I will continue I will continue to work with Preston until the end of the semester just to carry on gaining more experience um I've also the main thing for me this time around has been learning about the equipment setting it up and as I've mentioned numerous times in the videos just getting used to it it's uh, almost second nature now um, obviously the whole understanding about what uh, what being an analyst is uh, has really helped me and just uh, get a clearer a clearer sight towards what I want to do into the future um, just because I knew I knew I wanted to do something down this route, but just not as clear as I do now. Just it's given me a lot more clarity in terms of my future plans. Um, I think working with a professional club has, albeit as an academy setup, but still a professional club, has really helped me as well. Just so things are run at a quite a good level. You get to see the ins and outs of of the academy uh, why things are so important as well just um and how much of a role analysts do actually play in in getting the correct data and just make improving the team um for me uh this has been a a good experience uh it's taught me what I, as I said, what I want to do in the future. Uh, in the summer, I'm looking to work at home with the Gibraltar Football Association, um, with the national team, as they have big games in September. So I'm just going. To, I I'm looking forward to working with them, uh, as I don't think there's many analysts in Gibraltar yet. Um, going into next year. I'm hoping to take on the under-16 side for Preston uh, on my own, uh, just because I'd, I'd have more experience by then. And I feel as though I would be ready to take on my own side, doing everything properly, setting up, coding, feedback to the coaches, and so forth. Um, and by year three, just continue to get more experience under my belt, hopefully carry on working with Preston. If any other opportunities come up, then I'll take them on board just to ensure that my that I have a, a, a big profile when I go out there and actually do look for a job after uni. Uh, I'm, I am hoping to secure a job in professional football, be it in Spain, England, maybe with my own national team, who knows? But I'm I feel as though with all the experience that I can gain throughout my my three years uh, at UCLan, I feel as though by the time I go out to look for a job, I'd I'd have a a better chance, just because I've started from year one, uh, just working as an analyst, uh, I'd feel as have a lot of experience by then to to look for a good job and hopefully I get picked up